Thank you. Uh, I know I'm um, the, the thing between you and the lunch, so I'm going to try to keep it uh, short and, uh, and entertaining, I hope. The, Ian did a very good job at introducing WebRTC, and I think um, the, the main idea is to look at WebRTC not as a unified communications platform, but rather um, a, a platform uh, that enables um, things that are already existing uh, in, 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 in the industry, but with a different spin. The, the, the focus is that it brings in audio, video, and data uh, all together uh, within the browser. So the key uh, thing here is that it, 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 is, a, it is a building block, as, as Ian rightfully uh, said. And um, it's not like it's, it's a new building block. The only difference is that it is a, a building block that enables all these things without any other um, tools um, to, um, to, to, to enable the, uh, the real-time communications uh, within the uh, web uh, application experience. Um, in, in, in many ways, we look at this as, as, uh, as integrating various um, trendy services with real-time communications. It, it's, it's about bringing in social, bringing in um, you know, um, gaming, bringing other types of web applications. Um, and it's all about unified user experience, not necessarily unified communications. Um, it enables many-to-many, one-to-many, synchronous versus asynchronous uh, uh, scenarios are well described in the um, use cases that were put together in the standardization efforts. Um, Ian mentioned something about WebRTC and HTML5. Um, HTML5 um, is indeed made out of JavaScript and, uh, and um, um, HTML and, um, and CSS. But what's very important to, 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 to keep in mind is that this is, this is an ecosystem that is actually made out of various layers. And at the core is this HTML5 um, essential feature set. Uh, it's usually built in the uh, web runtimes, browsers or other types of web runtimes. But this, the second layer, um, if I would be to look at this, it's actually obtaining access to the host uh, environment in which, in which the browser is running. And those are specific APIs that, that, that make, make, the, make web as a platform. And, and that is location, camera. And lately, we are talking about the, um, the access to the microphone and the, and the speaker uh, for WebRTC. Then the second layer is actually more associated with, um, with not necessarily APIs per se, but uh, the ability to, um, to test these, uh, the ability to deliver. So, and and at, at the end of the spectrum, you actually have services. So as you can see, the scope moves from a technical, pure implementation more towards the business side of, of it. And that's, that's the way uh, we see HTML5 as, as being the platform for, for, for web, web uh, technologies. Uh, but I named this presentation as Diamond in the Rough. And um, you know, I couldn't resist not to kind of run a, a simple parallel with, um, with the diamonds. And um, I did some, some research, because I'm, I'm not into the jewelry business. I don't know much about it. But I, I just learned that. Um, diamonds are actually, um, um, the, the, their quality is determined on, on a 4C um, characteristics. And it was fascinating uh, to learn that it's, it's all about carrot, clarity, cut, and color. Um, one point is that they're not, one, one is not more important than the other. It's the, it's the whole aspect. And when I looked at WebRTC, I thought it's about the same thing. It's just that there's different, different uh, uh, labels. Power, or the use of it, I guess. Uh, performance, portability, and perception. We heard this morning about the, uh, the, the quality and the in intangibility of, of, of quality. It's, it's all about perception in the end. Uh, the same way as I would draw the parallel with color. Color is a, is a very difficult one to measure, uh, and yet it is part of the um, of the uh, of the quality um, uh, certification for for diamonds. So 
it, it, it is fascinating to look at, uh, at, at, the, uh, at the diamond analogy, mainly because um, it shows that no one uh, characteristic can, 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 can tip the boat um, in one way or another. Um, and um, and what, what actually came to, uh, uh, to mind was uh, that diamonds are usually um, you know, found rocks and then they're cut. Um, the standard way to, of cutting it, I guess, is called brilliant cut, and that involves about eight facets. So it came up with um, eight things that, that will really uh, need some, some polishing. And, and, and you know, we all heard the great things about what WebRTC can do. It's, it's just a matter of being such a new technology. Um, there are aspects that, that, that we see that, um, that will require some, some significant work in order, or in order for, the, for, for, uh, for the adoption to happen. And, and one of them is actually browser compatibility. Um, while the browsers get updated quite often, um, it, is, it is actually compatibility among different implementations of the HTML5, meaning in different browser implementations that is causing problems. And it's not a, a problem that is with WebRTC alone. As you know, some, some websites do not run properly on, on, on certain browsers. And maybe because they're sometimes ahead, sometimes behind in terms of the implementations. So it's not to say that, um, that, that browsers are not implementing things. It's, it's actually think, uh, saying that browsers have to implement them consistently. Um, if we are to consider the web as a platform, that, that that's the OS, and that has to be consistently uh, accessible. Um, the, the other one that was really um, quite, quite important, I, I, think, I, I think it is part of the, uh, of, of, of the, um, the mission statement for the WebRTC working groups, you know, interoperability with existing services. It, 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 it is, it is a, a, a quintessential um, requirement in order for, 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 uh, for the technology to take off. And, uh, and last, uh, related to this, and by the way, all these facets, just like the light hits the diamond from different angles, it's not that one facet has a certain, uh, you know, it, it has to be all, all of them that need to be addressed, more or less. So it's not like saying these are in the right order or the, in a particular order where one is more important than other. It's just um, some of them are actually interdependent. The codex report, for instance, uh, we heard Yan talking about the fact that there is no mandatory to implement a uh, decision in an ITF. That actually can have a significant impact in terms of interoperability among browsers and uh, 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 among browsers with, with other endpoints. Um, there hasn't been that much of a discussion in terms of the regulatory requirements uh, that come along with, with, uh, with communications in general. Um, you know, if we're starting to look at WebRTC as a, as a, as a means to, to, to be used, as a, as a primary means to be used as a, as a communications platform, then there are some other uh, things to be considered. Uh, while the, the working group has been um, defining um, statistics APIs that will be accessible to the web developers, um, the reliability aspects of, of, of the platform has to be considered significantly uh, uh, more in order to be to be uh, truly comparable with other other things. Um, mobile friendly, mobile friendly is a is a facet that 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 requires uh, special attention because it's not only that these devices uh, have low power. Uh, I'm sorry, low. Um, um, uh, low power requirements in order for them to be battery efficient, uh, but they also need to be network efficient uh, in, 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 in that regard. So, so it's, it's quite important um, to, to, to keep the mobile friendly facet quite, quite well understood in, in this. And, uh, and um, there's, there's, a, there's an aspect that is hard to define, the user friendly. You know, WebRTC brings a um, an aspect of the web that has not been experienced before. Um, it had to do with the fact that you're now sharing um, your, your, your image and your, your audio with, with the web, with the rest of the world. So being able to understand what that means. And I, I, the, 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 
the, the browsers currently are experimenting all sorts of ways to, to, to convey that information, that, that kind of status to, to the user. But it has to be in, uh, uh, done so people, people can, can, can feel um, okay um, participating in, 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 uh, in, in, uh, uh, in dialogues using WebRTC technologies. And, um, and so the, 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 these things actually play into the uh, adoption. Uh, adoption is almost like related to all the, all, all the ones, all, all, the, all the facets that we, we, we mentioned earlier. Um, it, it has to do with the fact that um, endpoints ha have to be available, but more importantly, they have to work, work well uh, uh, with each other. And, um, and so it, at the end of the day, what, what boils down to um, is that WebRTC, WebRTC is a technology um, that is, 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 is going to shape up the, uh, the, the communications. And, 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 and the way we can embed um, communications into, in, into um, uh, web applications is going to be, um, uh, nobody knows actually um, what other use cases are going to come up um, in, in the next year or so. But the reality is that we have to look at all these uh, aspects um, in order to truly make it um, a technology that we can rely on. And, uh, and that's kind of what I'm going to be, uh, be wrapping up with. Um, it, it has an unbelievably high potential um, uh, as a technology. But it's in its infancy. In fact, uh, there's implementations, even though the standard is not even in, a, in a, um, a candidate recommendation, which is the term that W3C uses for, uh, for a standard. Um, and in order for it to truly be um, mainstream, it, ha it requires this, these uh, polishing on these areas that, that I mentioned. And um, no one in particular is, is more important than the other. We kind of need to look at uh, these holistically and, and, and we need to touch all these aspects. Uh, uh, uh. And when all, all these gaps are being addressed, um, we can, we can have a, a true engagement between the real-time communication space and, and, and the web. And that's kind of what the metaphor is about the diamond. You know, you got a rock, uh, but at the end of the day, you make that rock uh, a, a precious uh, thing. You put it into a, an enclosure, and, and you make it an engagement ring. Uh, and that, that was the message. Thank you. <laughs>